With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let's see the following question. Calculate the EAN of central atom of the following complex. So we have hexa carbonyl group, okay. So it is carb uh, chromium hexa carbonyl group. So first of all, we we should understand what is EAN. So the meaning of EAN is effective atomic number. It's called effective atomic number. So what is the meaning of effective atomic number? It is the total number of electrons gained by the central atom or it is the total number of electrons surrounding the central metal in a complex. So it is the total number of electrons surrounding the surrounding central metal in a complex so therefore the, there is a formula for effective atomic number so we know that in any complex say i am writing the complex here chromium okay hexacarbonyl there are six carbonyl groups so the central metal here is a chromium so we know that there is no counter ion that means the overall charge of the complex is zero each carbonyl groups comes to be a zero zero oxidation state so chromium's oxidation state here has to be zero now carbonyl group here is c triple bond o with the lone pair of electron on carbon so that means it donates one set of lone pair now, in calculating the effective atomic number, the EAN number, we have to know the following things. First of all, Z, that is the atomic number of the central metal, minus X, that is the oxidation state of the central metal, plus L, that is the number of ligands taken by the uh, central metal. Now, why we have to have effective atomic number is, See, after gaining the electron or after losing the electron, it will have a primary valency. Then after gaining the electron from the ligand, the central metal will gain the electron in such a way that it gets a stable noble gas configuration. So, here we have to note down Z is the atomic number of the central metal. So, I am writing it as atomic number. So, X is its oxidation state, oxidation state of metal and L is the number of electron pairs donated by the ligand donated by ligand so let's see whether it is gaining stability in this particular example so we know that atomic number of chromium is 24 its oxidation state here it is 0 number of ligands are 6 each ligand is donating 2 electrons so 2 6 are 12 so total it is 24 plus 12 that is 36 electrons see this is the next noble gas configuration that is helium is 2 neon is 10 argon is 18 then we have krypton so this is the configuration of krypton and hence this complex is going to be a stable complex so therefore the answer for this question is ean number of this particular complex that is hexacarbonyl chromium complex is 36 thank you for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.